Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day everyone. Today we will be discussing about the quadratic formula. And this one as a means for solving for the unknown for any quadratic equation. Okay. So firstly, um, the quadratic formula is in the form of x is equals to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a okay and just um to tell you ano ba yung values ng a b and c or their their properties um for the properties it should be like this a b and c are elements of any real number and of course a restriction of a not being zero okay because if you will notice, if a becomes 0, then the denominator becomes 0, then you are dividing by 0, which is, of course, not allowed in mathematics. Okay? So, um, a, b, c can be derived from the general form or the general equation of any quadratic equation, which is a x squared plus b x plus c is equals to 0. Meaning, of course, the a, b, and c are the numerical coefficients. I mean, a, b are the numerical coefficient, and c is the constant, okay? Or it could also be c is the numerical coefficient of x raised to 0, okay? But in any case, this is our general form of any quadratic equation, okay? Now, knowing this, these values of a, b, and c, and our quadratic formula, so let's now try uh, to solve an the values of x of any given quadratic for, um, equation. So firstly, let's have our first example. Say we have x squared plus 2x plus 1. So now on this given po, the answer for x here should be um, negative 1. Okay? The answer for x should be negative 1. Because if you will see, if this equals 0. If this is negative 1 squared plus 2 times negative 1 plus 1 is equal to 0, 1 minus 2 plus 1 is equal to 0, therefore 0 is equal to 0. Kung balance yung left hand side, the left hand side to our right hand side, kung balance sila, therefore your answer is correct. Okay? So basically, ito yung gusto nating makuha. X is equal to negative 1. But using what? using the quadratic formula okay so um, knowing the quadratic formula so let's go lang dito negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a okay ang gagawin natin first is ito yung ating equation identify natin what is our a our b and our c our a is of course 1 bakit po 1 kasi any given variable having no visible numerical coefficient automatic may 1. So, ito yan. Ito si A. Wait, let me circle that. Ito si A. Ito si B. And ito si C. Okay? So, mangyari dyan would be identifying A, B, and C. Our B is 2 and our C is 1. So, what we did here is we just simply identified an A, B, and C taking also the sign before them. Now, by substitution, Ang B natin is 2. So, we always substitute. Lalag lagi natin nilalagyan ng um, parenthesis para hindi kayo nalilita sa sign. So, this is B minus 2. Kasi yun yung value ni B. Si B, ito si B. Okay? Plus minus the square root of B squared. And our B is of course still 2. And then we get the square. And then we have minus 4 times A which is 1. And then our C is of course still 1. Okay, this is our A and this is our A. Ito yun. Again, when, when we are substitu substituting, we always place um, parenthesis para hindi po tayo nalilito sa sign. And lastly, we have 2A having our 2 times 1. Okay, because our A is 1. Okay, after that po, if you have substituted, we evaluate po. Okay, so remember that when you are evaluating, please be reminded of the term PEMDAS, or sorry, we use GEMDAS pala. Okay, we use GEMDAS. Okay, when you are, we are using GEMDAS, we always check the groupings first. So, i-check nyo muna. Do you see in any given parenthesis having any operation inside? 
So, of course, none. Kasi ito, walang operation. Same, 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 and same. Okay? The next thing that you have to do is you have to evaluate your exponents. Do you see any exponents? Yes. If you see any exponents, then please evaluate. So, ito yan. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin, we evaluate 2 squared, it becomes 4. Okay? Then, sulat lang natin siya properly dito sa may baba. So, what would happen here would be negative 2 plus minus 4 minus 4 times 1 times 1. Okay? The next thing that you do is you evaluate your multiplications kasi multiplication is susunod eh. Ito lang naman yung may multiplication and then this one. So, let's evaluate. What is 4 times 1 times 1? The answer is 4. And 2 times 1 is equals to 2. So, this is 2 plus minus 4 minus 4 all over 2. Okay? So, what would happen here would be, ito syempre, alam nyo naman sagot dyan. 4 minus 4, the answer is 0. So, you will have negative 2 plus minus zero, square root of 0 over 2. And then the question is, after nyo ma-evaluate lahat, ito na lang matitira. What is the square root of 0? Obviously, the answer there is another 0. And then let's evaluate further, kasi 0 na yan. So, this is negative 2 over 2. Ang ginawa ko, inalis ko na yung parenthesis. Bakit? This is technically negative 1 times 2. And the answer is still negative 2. And negative 2 divided by 2, the answer is negative 1. This one is the same as our original answer, which is this one. Parehas sila. If parehas sila, therefore, any given equation can be solved. Quadratic trinomial, I mean. Or a uh, quadratic equation can be solved using the quadratic formula. Okay? So, what if your given is like this? Let's proceed to the next example. Parang ang given mo. 2x squared plus 4x equals to negative 3 plus um, 5x squared minus 7x. So, you will notice, mahirap ma-identify ano ba si A, ano ba si B, and ano si C. Kasi you will no notice na hindi magkakatabi lahat. So, what you need to do here is you have to simplify the equation. And you must re be reminded of similar terms. Okay? Similar terms are terms with the same variable and exponent. Similar sila. Okay? Okay, so what would happen here is ililipat ko lahat doon sa kabilang side. At pagtatabihin ko yung mga dapat na magkatabi. Kung baga isipin nyo yung mga may x squared, puro x squared, magkakamag-anak yan. Okay? So this is 2x squared. And ngayon, pag nilipat, transposition from the other side of the equation, equal sign, changes the sign. So ito magiging negative 5x squared plus 4x plus 7x, kasi yan, nag-iba yung sign niya. Equals to, and sorry, meron pa palang, plus 3 is equals to 0, kasi walang natira. You will notice na itong dalawa, parehas. Tama? So, what you need to do here is evaluate the number part only. What is 2 minus 5? The answer is negative 3x squared. Plus, or not plus pala. What is 4 plus 7? The answer is positive 11x plus 3 is equal to 0. Now, your a, b, and c's are just simply negative 3, 11, and 3. And then, we evaluate, substitute sa ating quadratic formula. Quadratic formula is negative b plus minus the square root of b squared. Minus 4, A is negative 3, and C is 3. Divided by 2A, 2 times negative 3. Evaluate step by step. The answer would be negative 11 plus minus the square root of what? 121 plus, ano sagot dito? 4 times 3 times 3 is 4, 8, 12, and 12 times 3 it's just simply 36. Since ang sign yan is parehas negative, you'll see, therefore it becomes positive. Divided by, what is 2 times 3? The answer is 
negative 6 kasi iba yung sign ng 3. Negative 11 plus minus the square root of 121 plus 36 is equals to 157 divided by negative 6. Now, ang gagawin niya, sabi ko kanina, is he will evaluate the square root, right? But the question is, is there a square root for 157? If there is none, then you have to retain. Since uh, I will tell you now, na walang square root yan. So the answer would be negative 11 plus square root of 157 over negative 6 and negative 11 minus square root of 157 divided by negative 6. Bakit naging ganyan po yung sagot? Firstly po, ito po, hindi nyo po pwedeng isubtract dito na magkakaroon kayo ng whole number na sagot. Okay? So, ang ginagawa nyo na lang, or I will accept this one, if you cannot add, okay, manually, or yung kapag nagsasolve kayo, then don't. Leave it as is. I would appreciate more na naka-fraction siya ng ganito, kesa pinilit nyo magkaroon ng decimal. Okay? And lastly po, you will notice here na bakit naging dalawang sagot, sir? Because ito kasi, the answer here is plus minus. So, you must give me the principal root and then the negative root. Okay, yun lang po yung case niyan. Kapag katas mo nang isolve at hindi mo na-evaluate yung square root, gawin mong plus minus. Okay? And after that, you are already done. Okay? If you can evaluate this one, at for example, nagkaroon kayo ng sagot, like say, um, 49, at ang sagot is 7. So, kung mangyayari, magkakaroon kayo ng negative 11 plus 7, and negative 11 minus 7. And still, Pwede nyo evaluate yan. Pwede nyo isolve. Okay? Then, please solve. Okay? So, ano ba yung klase ng mga examples na may ganun? Okay? So, let's have an exa last hour, last example. Okay? Um, let me think of something. Say we have 2x plus 2x squared plus 7x plus for a while let me think of something mm -hmm. let me solve for a while enough that on a paper okay um say we have two x okay x Okay, so let's have this as 12x na lang, okay? So we have 12x, sorry, let me write that down properly. 12x plus 10, okay? So let's try to find the answer for this one. Okay, so um, the our given is this one, so let's try to solve for our um, a, b, and c's, okay? Our a is equals to 2, b is equals to... Um, we have 12 and c is equals to 10. Same, same. I will solve fast because it's already long the video. So we have negative b. The answer is negative 12 plus minus the square root of um, 12 squared is 144. So it's a And we have 4 times a times c. 4 times a. 4 times a times c. So the answer is not 4 times a times c. So the answer here is 80 all over 2a. I'm sorry, so 2a i um, 2 times 2, which is 4. Okay, so 144 minus 80, the answer is 64. Okay, all over 4. And ang 64 po, may square root po. The answer for this one is 8. So, magiging sagot nyo would be negative 12 plus 8 over 4 and negative 12 minus 8 over 4. And of course, the answer for this one is ilan po? The answer for this one is negative 4 divided by 4. And for this one, the answer is negative 20 divided by 4. Okay, if you would agree, then yan, good. The answer is negative 1, and the answer here is negative 11, negative 5.
and this would be the values of your x okay so if you understood I, I, and if you have any question you can review the video okay thank you for listening everyone and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh